KVM went from zero to $10 million within 17 months. And uh, 17 months ago, he was an accountant. Yeah. Making like $17,000 a year. My, my story was I truly hated my job. My first thing that I did wasn't successful. YouTube completely changed my life and the scale of my business to just a completely different level. In the last 28 days, we have over 3 million views. Hi, Kevin. Nice to meet you. Hi. We have a wonderful story here. So Kevin went from zero to $10 million within 17 months. And uh, 17 months ago, he was an accountant. Yeah. Making like $17,000 a year. $50,000 $15, a, a year. Yeah. And now you're making a million a month. A million a month, yeah, about that. And uh, what is the uh, net profit? Uh, net profit's about 57%. Wow. So it's about $570,000. Nice. And well, you, uh, how many uh, team members you have? I have one employee in the States. So I have uh, my videographer who's full time um, and then everyone else is outsourced. So I have, uh, I would say 19 other employees. Most of them are vir uh, virtual assistants. Wow. Nice. That's, that's very nice. But, yeah, well, I, I don't really like, um, like some people like enjoy on office and building a culture. Mm -hmm. I like sitting at my house. So you don't have like office uh, no. everything remote there? No, I just have my computer. So okay, good. so we want to know your story, how you started, how you created the idea. Yeah, yeah. So, huh, what was the shift from accountant? To, what was the first month uh, in government? I mean, so I think that like you have to have true love or true hate to like make it as an entrepreneur because it's so hard. And so my my story was I truly hated my job as an mm -hmm. accountant. Like I really that give you energy. It. Yeah, yeah it, it gives you drive when it's hard, right? And it yeah. gives you drive when you're tired or it's dark or it's cold or it's raining or all of these things that try to stop you. Um, and so I, I really hated it. And I use that as like kind of passion and energy to continue like looking, right? And my first thing that I did wasn't successful, right? I, I tried to make an iOS app and it failed. It was, a, it was a quiz app for video games. Nobody liked it. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Nobody else liked it. Um, I tried a travel blog. It was eat, sleep, trek, repeat.com. Failed, right? But, and then I tried Amazon FBA and that started to really work for me. And people were saying like, Kevin, you need to teach people what you're doing. And so, you know, I started, I started trying to figure, figure out a way to really teach people what I, how I was uh, making my Amazon business successful. And so I started YouTube and uh, I, I created a couple of uh, YouTube videos and then I, I actually- So this to, was during this 17 months? No, the, the start of the 17 before. months uh, was when I started my YouTube. Now. Right, so um, I made a YouTube channel and then I went to Brazil. I went to Carnival, if you guys know what that is. It's like the biggest party in the world, basically. Um, and I was there for a few months and then I came back and my YouTube, one of my YouTube videos had started to take off. It had like 50,000 views and like, you know, hundreds of comments. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I need That's to video from Carnival or from, uh, was so it like I, a business recorded, videos? It was a business video. It was uh, how to do Amazon FBA. That was uh, my first ever video. Hey guys, if you want to create your online course and sell your knowledge or sell someone expert's knowledge, we have a free masterclass explaining every step on the way to create your own online course and scale it to millions of dollars. We also give you the free PDF with the best niches to start. Just click the link below and see you at the webinar. So a lot of people think Amazon's selling all the products on Amazon, but really it's actually third party sellers like us. Um, and so I started a business on Amazon and I started to make $1,000 a day with it. And I was making more um, from Amazon than I was making at Facebook. Um, I was an accountant and consultant at Facebook. That's what I said accountant, but it was actually at Facebook. So people are always like, kind of confused, but. Um, you was accountant at Facebook. Exactly, wow. yeah. So I was an accounting consultant and privacy consultant uh, at Facebook. Um, and so I was making more from my Amazon FBA business than I was making at Facebook. And I was like, okay, I need to like start more focusing on this. Um, and then the same thing kind of happened where I was making, you know, I started to make a lot of money from YouTube with no effort, no risk, no capital up front. Um, and I was thinking, okay, I need to start focusing on that. Um, and so really what, what started all of this, the engine was YouTube. YouTube completely changed my life and the scale of my business to just a completely different level. In the last 28 days, we have over 3 million views. How did you start your courses? I mean, so uh, it happened organically also. People were like, Kevin, like these YouTube videos are great, but like we, we need A to Z. Mm -hmm. Like you're giving us A through F. Right, like uh -huh. you're giving us half of it, but we need it all. We need everything step by step. So you first you started giving them free content. Free content. Yeah, uh -huh. I was just making it to teach people for free. I was making enough money to live from Amazon. Um, and then people kept asking me like for a course. And at the time I was like, what is a course? I didn't know, uh -huh. right? Because I didn't have any friends or entrepreneurs. And it was two years ago. That was less than two years ago, yeah. You, you launched the course with the YouTube, but what was the revenue, like the total revenue per month that you made with the YouTube? First month. Yeah, oh, without like, any traffic. At the very beginning? Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, I'm not sure. It was like almost two years ago, but I would guess like ten to thirty thousand a month. Um, for, still, it's nice. Yeah, in the first month, and it really started to kind of scale up from there. We use a seven-day attribution window. A lot of people use 28, so their ROAS looks much higher because you get sales attributed to as you run 28 days later. We use seven because it's more reflective of reality. Um, but our ROAS on YouTube is between three and four, um, and our ROAS mm -hmm. on Facebook is between two and three. Uh -huh. But uh, totally, uh, the he earns now one million and uh, spends 250, right? Yeah, but yeah, he my, also my has largest, some from YouTube. Yeah, yeah, my largest expense by far is uh, is advertising. Do you have the sales team? Um, I mean, not really. Mm, nobody calling. Oh yeah, so we, we outsource um, phone stuff um, just from our webinar follow-up sequence. So it's all schedule based. So we send out an email and people can register to have a phone call only if they don't convert um, in the first 48 hours of our sequence. Mm -hmm. It's interesting but because uh, in our sequence, we almost doubled when we like uh, connected the sales department. Right, and uh, the sales department. It's just we don't we don't do any outbound. It's all schedule based. So we don't like we get, you know, three thousand five three to five thousand phone numbers a week from all of our webinar registrants. Mm. And if I had a huge sales team, we could call all five thousand of them. But we just do it all as uh, inbound. So they have to actually schedule with us. Then they get a phone call. Like free consultation. Yeah, and and the the, the conversion rate is like. 30% on inbound because they actually scheduled mm -hmm. versus outbound, which is like much lower. How yeah. your product look like? Uh, you have like lessons and then you have sessions. Uh, or is it just answers? a digital product? Yeah, it's just a digital product. The, uh, no, no any uh, Q&A sessions? Uh, yeah. so wow. I, do it, I do it sometimes just because I enjoy it, but yeah. there's nothing like in uh -huh. as part of it. So they literally just get a membership, a Flip Funnels membership funnel mm -hmm. with videos. And you have different packages or uh, the flat price? I have three different packages. So I do $9.97 for a single pay or three payments of $3.97. They pay slightly more, um, but it's spread out over three months. But uh, do you have premium or VIPs? Oh, so I have an upsell, yeah. So I, I do something called the student interviews, um, which is basically I interview my most successful students and then sell that for $3.97 as an upsell after every week purchasing the course. And that converts at about 33%. Hey guys, if you want to start your online course and scale it globally and earn millions of dollars, but you're hesitating, you don't know which experts to market, you don't know which niche to start, we have a free consultation for you. Normally, a consultation with this expert costs around $200, but we give it for you for free. Just press the link below, fill the form, and see you at the consultation. And out of one million, uh, what is the split between course, uh, courses? You have three courses. Uh... I would say out of a million, like 400,000 is Amazon, and... Mm -hmm. uh, I would say, or maybe 500,000, and then I would say 300,000 is Shopify, and 200,000 is Facebook. Mm. Facebook ads, how to uh, how to create ads for your business or how to? It's SMMA, so like how to like get paid to run ads on behalf of local businesses. Uh -huh. It's like an agency. And how yeah, how to earn money by be, by being an advertiser expert. Exactly. And for the Facebook traffic, do you use the agencies or it's like an in-house team for the traffic? I, I, so I hate agencies, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It's such a waste of time. They, they always have too many clients and they don't give you enough time. Like when you have a $10 million company, you have to have in-house staff. It's mm -hmm. not an option. You'll just hate yourself if you don't. So you have your in-house team of uh, oh, yeah. marketers? Yeah, that's what I actually spend money on. Marketers. How many of them? Four. So what's your focus right now? My focus is digital course secrets and my software. So we've scaled the software to um, like between 60 and 100 a month um, from zero in the last two months, uh, which has been cool. But we just leverage my following. We are, we aren't doing any type of like, you know, collaborations or. or well, what kind of software? Um, it's SaaS. So it's SaaS mm. that supports what I teach. So for example, Amazon, you need a keyword research to help populate your product list. We made a keyword research tool. Um, with Shopify, you need product research to find new viral products to put into your store and sell. We made a product research tool. So we kind of evaluated what the majority of the market needed um, and then created that. I have, I have two invitations for you. We're doing a big conference in Sochi, in Russia, cool. and, uh, with about 1,500 digital entrepreneurs, and a big conference, digital conference in January for like 1,000 and 1,500 entrepreneurs. I mean, You're also invited there as well. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you for the interview. Absolutely. Very nice. Thank you. Hey, guys. If you like the video, press the like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave your comments asking questions and endorsing us.